is Brianna Callum. I work here at Tokau College as an education officer um, in honeybees, uh, but I'm also an agriculture teacher. And today we're going to have a look around some of our gardens to see if we can find some insects. Um, so some things to remember. One, if you can wear gloves. Um, if you don't have gloves, just be very careful because some insects don't like to be disturbed and when you make them annoyed or um, if you threaten them, they may choose to bite you or sting you or sometimes let off some nasty fluids or smells. We don't want that. Um, always handy to have a stick or something to have a bit of a look around so that way you're not having to put your hands in it. Nice and quiet. Um, kind of like when you're at home if someone comes bursting into your room it freaks you out so you don't want to do that to insects this is their greater house I guess you could say um, but nice and quiet make sure when you're looking too that you look everywhere so look underneath the leaves on top of the leaves inside the flowers at the base of the plant along the stems because you'll find different insects live in different parts of the plant so let's have a look so we've come in really quietly here and we've found quite an interesting spider. I actually don't know the name of this spider, which is probably a good thing because now we can have a look at some of its features. Is we can see how many legs. Okay, so there's two at the back and two at the front on either side. So that's eight. So it means that it's an arachnid. Okay, but very interestingly, this one has some spiny growths on its back. Okay, it's a couple of different colors. The legs are more of an orangey brown looking at the pattern taking a photo and then using that to identify the spider although we've got some ants over here so we want to look at the features so what are what features does this ant have so what color you can see it has three parts to its body so it's got a head a midsection and then the bottom abdomen it's got six legs it's got antennas so that'll help us class what kind of insect it is. There's definitely something living because it's starting to have a eat of the leaves. So I'd say we've got a caterpillar possibly of some kind by that one. But it's a worker bee who's actually looking for food to bring back to the hive to feed everyone. So you'll see they'll kind of go into all the bits of the flower and they're looking for nectar. So these are a native stingless bee. They have a really good look. They don't look like a normal bee or what we call European honey bee. They're not a flying ant, but they will do the same job that European bees do. So they're looking for nectar. She has got some pollen sacs. Have a look. So if you look really at the back of their legs, you'll see like a little white yellow ball. That's pollen. There's a green ant. Those ones hurt when they bite, so keep your fingers away. But they like to get underneath. So where it's nice and soft. And obviously they're nice and protected. This has got really good home for lots of different insects because of the deep grooves. So there's lots of places for them to hide. Lots of places for them to set up. A lot of ants would probably be coming up here looking for tasty morsels. So beetles, they'll love to be under here. Gives them lots of protection. Okay, so features of this one. So see how it's got a nice hard exoskeleton. Okay, have a look at the shape of the head and where the legs are. It's got antennas. Okay, if you look really closely down towards the head, you can have a look and see if they have pincers. I don't think this one does, but we just want to be super careful. You can see it's really lovely colour. It's almost like it's metallic. This will give you a, bit of a few clues as to what it could be. He'll go back and hide underneath. Down here, I've got a spider. I want to be really careful. I've got another one of those beetles. Just being really gentle, trying not to break up their home. So my five top tips for finding different insects are one, check at different times of the day because some insects prefer the morning, some insects prefer the afternoon. It depends on what they do. Um, have a look at all parts of the plant. So make sure you look at the flower, 
we look at the stems, we look at the leaves, both the top and the bottom. Go down, even have a look at the roots and sometimes also look at the ground because you'll find that different insects have different homes and habitats. Uh, make sure that you always go with an adult, okay, because you just don't know sometimes there might be a bug that's not so nice and it might get a little bit scared or frightened and it may choose to bite you or sting you. Okay, same thing as when you get scared, you sometimes freak out. So you make sure you're with an adult. Always have gloves and if you don't have gloves,